24 countries have officially qualified for the Euros. And I'm going to be signing one amazing player from every Euros nation. Once we build our team, we're going to see if an all-European team can win the Champions League. This wheel has got all 24 nations on it. Let's see from where do we need to sign our first player. Ooh, it's a big one. Spain. Now, we get to sign any Spanish player, but only one, of course. But hold up. It's not going to be so simple. We have a budget of 1 billion. Now, that sounds crazy. But remember, we need to sign 24 players. That money's going to run out pretty quickly. From Spain, though, we've got some crazy options to start things off. Rodri as our CDM would be crazy, but he'd also wipe out one tenth of our budget. Pedri is another option. And to be honest, I think we need to go crazy for the first player we're signing. Nah, we're going for Pedri, boys. Let's try and get him for as cheap as possible. 100 million would be the dream. But nope. nope, that's not gonna happen. Come on, 110. Give me a good start to the video. Nope. You know what? 120 million for Pedri and I'll be a happy man. Finally, guys, they've agreed at 120 million. And so the player we're picking from Spain is none other than Pedri. No way, man. Just one signing and we're down to 880. 80 million. We've got to just calm things down. All right, where can we sign a player from next? Ooh, Turkey. Now that's interesting. Turkey's best player is Hakan Çalhanoğlu. But since we signed Petri, I don't want to be spending upwards of 60 million on him. Instead, I found a really good left back, Hadioglu. I mean, look at him. He's 23 years old, 78 rated. He'll at least be a good backup option. We've got a left back and a sentiment so far. Let's see what the next nation's going to bring. And it's Denmark. When I think of Denmark, instantly Christian Eriksen pops up in my mind. I'm not gonna lie. He'd be a good player to have as squad depth. Pretty cheap as well. Oh, Kasper Schmeichel too would do a perfect job as a backup keeper. Okay, wait. There's also Andreas Christensen. We've got options here. Do you know what? If I can get Christensen for a good price, this wouldn't be too bad of a buy. Okay, I can't believe we've got Christensen from Denmark and that too for just 38 million. That's what I call a deal. Left side of our team is starting to look really good, but we're already down to 820 million. I think 1 billion is not gonna be enough. Hopefully we can make it work. I think what we need to do is if one of the smaller nations come up, we need to get deals. But then when you get Portugal, you obviously are going to have to try and go big. And by big, I mean Cristiano Ronaldo is an option. The thing is, he might be our cheapest player we've signed yet. And that might make him really worth it in this kind of a video. Because the other options are Rafael Lea, who will almost cost us another 100 million. And he's the same rating as Ronaldo. Bernardo Silva too is going to cost us about about 80, 90 million. I think Ronaldo is the right pick for this. And so from Portugal, our pick is Cristiano Ronaldo. And I can't believe we got him for just 20 million. Before we pick our next player, I want you guys to let me know who do you think is going to win the Euros. I think France are too good, but we'll see. And also while you're down there, why not subscribe to the channel? It really helps me out. Let's see what the next nation's going to be. I think I kind of want to start signing wingers. Oh, but from Austria, I don't think there are too many options. Of course, the first player that comes to my mind when I think about Austria is David Alaba. And you know what? He's actually valued pretty decently. Can play in a variety of different positions for us. This might not be too bad. Oh, but okay, there's actually a couple more options like Marcel Sabitzer and Xava Schlager. These ones are really cheap. We could end up saving a bit of money with Austria. All right, I've chosen Sabitzer over Alaba. Controversial decision, but for 24 million, I think saving a bit of cash is the smart choice. So far, I think we've only gone crazy with one player and that's Pedri. Ronaldo was pretty cheap too. I think we can afford some big boy players, but I want to save them for the big boy nations. Because imagine we get France. We need the money for killing Mbappe possibly. Nation number six though is Italy. Italy of course are the team that won the last Euros and it was mostly because of their defense. So I'm thinking, let's sign an Italian defender. And you can't go wrong with this man, Di Lorenzo. He's 85 rated. Gonna be a solid right back for us. But we had to fork out 50 million for him. Oh, the next nation we've got is Scotland. I don't think they've got that many good players, except for Andy Robertson. This was again expensive, but now our fullback positions are absolutely sorted. But I think we do need to chill out a bit. We're already down to 671 million and we've only signed seven players. We still need to bring in wingers, more defenders, a goalkeeper. We need to bring in some bargain players. Next up, we've got Switzerland. Anakanji for 33 million is just the kind of deal we're looking for. Next nation we've 
got... Okay, I'm kind of unsure which flag that is. It's between Slovenia and Slovakia. <sighs> My geography knowledge. Okay, after checking, it is Slovakia. And they've got Milan Skriniar. But do I want to buy him? I don't want to waste like 30 million on Slovakia. I mean, they've got Martin Dubravka, who's 78 rated. We could use Slovakia to give us our backup goalkeeper without spending much. This is a tactical play, guys. We just spent 2 million on Dubrovka. Oh, guess what? Our next nation is Slovenia. And I think there is a certain goalkeeper that does play for Slovenia. One of the best keepers in the game, Jan Oblak. If we can get a good deal on him, it would be worth it. Because an 88 rated goalkeeper from a nation like Slovenia, anyway, there aren't many better options. This is the play. Okay, let's, let's make sure we can get him for a reasonable price. 60 million would just be the sweet spot. And we got kicked out. This is going to be tough. Looks like we're going to have to settle for 65 million. But there you go. From Slovenia, our pick is Jan Oblak. Not gonna lie, the Euros FC is coming together. We've already got 10 players from 10 different nationalities, but it's been expensive so far. We're down to 568 million. The thing I'm worried about is that we still need good wingers, and wingers are always super expensive. Talking about wingers, we've just got a nation whose winger is their star player, and I'm talking about Kvica Kvaracikilia. It's incredible how this guy has got Georgia to the Euros. Do we want to sign him? It's gonna be crazy upwards of 120 million. But who else can I sign from Georgia? I mean, there are a few other players, but no one like Kvicha. I, I think we should just spend the money on a player like him. It's done, guys. We've picked Kvicha from Georgia, and it's cost us 110 million. Funnily enough, he's still not our most expensive player. That is still Pedri, who was our first signing. We're already down to under 500 million. But hey, at least we got Kvicha. You know what? Next few nations, we're gonna be smart. Czech Republic. Thomas Sushek is the player we're picking from Czech Republic. I mean, 16 million for a good backup CDM. We'll take that. Albania is next. They didn't really have anyone great, so we picked up this kid, Uzuni. I mean, a backup striker for 10 million. Can't go wrong. Oh, but we get Croatia next. This is an opportunity to bring in a big player. And it could be a really good deal for us because Luka Modric might be the perfect player. He's 86 rated, a bit old, yes. But we can get him for sub 18 million? Nah, that's a steal. We're picking Luka Modric, Ballon door winner from Croatia and for just 15 million with 14 nations in the team's looking amazing and we still have 417 million I think we can now start spending a little bit more to get the big boys next nation we're getting is Hungary okay I was thinking about buying big players I mean talking about big players we can get Dominic Saboslai but he's gonna be so expensive and we've got Pedri and Luka Modric in our midfield we mostly need a CDM so kind of don't want to spend crazy money in Instead, we're picking Willy Orban, 83 rated center back, not bad at all. Okay, guys, I want to start spending the money. Give me a big nation, and there you go. Probably the favorites for the Euros 24, France. The truth is, with France, we've got plenty of options. Kylian Mbappe being the biggest one. But you just know he's going to be so freaking expensive. And if you're wondering where we can play him, easily I think we can put Kvicha on the right and Mbappe on the left. That'll just make our attack insane. I think the other best option is Usman Dembele. But like, look at his price. He's going to be upwards of 100 million as well. Oh, but look at this Mbappe's contract's expiring. And you know what? We're saving money for these kind of transfers. I want Mbappe in my Euros FC squad. Okay, how much can we save? That's the real question because his contract's expiring. I'm starting off with 130 mil, and that's actually worked. Yo, he's going to be our most expensive player, but for 130 million, getting the highest rated player in the game, I think that's a dub. And so from France, we're choosing Kylian Mbappe. With that, we finally completed our first team, where every player is from a different Euros nation. But there's still room for upgrades. I would love a better CDM, a world-class centre-back too. But yeah, signing Mbappe does mean we're down to 261 million. We still have eight more nations left. Up next, we got Romania. There was no one really that good from Romania, but this Nikolai Stanchu guy is the highest rated player from there. 77 rated, and we got him for 10 mil. Oh, that's a big one. Germany. Okay, what do we actually need in this team? An insane CDM for sure, or a center back. I'm thinking going all in on Joshua Kimmich might be the play because he's 87 rated. Kimmich is our pick from Germany, and 70 million is not too bad at all. Ukraine is what we're getting next. 
Perfect opportunity to get a backup winger like Mikhailo Modric. Plus, it didn't hurt the bank. Next up is Poland. And that's our backup right back sorted with Matty Cash. Also, I cannot believe Matty Cash with that name is Polish. I guess he is. Ooh, Serbia. And we're picking Dusan Taric because he was cheap. Just 12 million. I'm saving my cash. And this is why I've saved all the cash. Look at the nations that are left. England. France, Belgium, and we've got 130 million. We could at least get one crazy player from one of these nations. Maybe a center back, maybe a midfielder. Big decisions about to be made. Depends though on whether we land. Okay, it's England. If we want to upgrade our center back position, there's options like John Stones or even Fikayo Tomori. But the thing is, if we wait for Netherlands to pop up on the wheel, we could go for VVD. And I think that's a way better option. So do I sacrifice our England pick? Okay, Wait, we won't have to sacrifice because Kyle Walker is available at a really good price. He's 84 rated too. Yep, this is the play. 20 million for Walker is actually mad. We've got two picks and 110 million left. I'm hoping this is enough for BBD. Let's see, there's Belgium as well. And looks like first we need to sign a player from Belgium. I'm not spending too much for Belgium. Mertens is the player we're picking just 3 million because the final nation is Netherlands. Everything relies on being able to afford BBD. I'm hoping we can. Oh, actually, it's not going to be that expensive. I thought VVD was worth way more. I think 80 million and we should be able to get him. Yup. From nation number 24, Netherlands, VVD is the player we're picking. And finally, our Euros FC squad is complete. One amazing player from every nation that's participating at the 2024 Euros. And honestly, we've built an incredible team, including a really awesome bench. And actually, we didn't even spend the full billion. We're left with 27 million. Maybe I could have improved a couple more signings, but I think I've done a good job. But we'll only find out if that's true by seeing if this team can win the Champions League. Okay, this is not a good start for a team of some of the best players in the Euros, second in the group, but to be fair, Bayern are knocked out. Before the knockouts, it looks like Kvicha is the one performing. Yo, Killian, you, you gotta step things up. Okay, yo, it might be curtains for the Euros FC because they've drawn Barca in the round of 16. All right, let's see if they can survive the first leg. This is not looking good. Nope, nope. <laughs> Barcelona beat them. Who knows? We might be able to see a comeback. Let's see if that happens. Um, no. Ooh, and looks like the Euros FC even in the Premier League couldn't get top four. Well, I think signing the older players probably cost us. But still, Kylian Mbappe, you didn't do a thing this season. And he was literally our most expensive player. Maybe a squad of one amazing player from every Premier League club will do much better. So click here to watch that.